Well, hello! Returning customers are a good sign. It is fair to say that this has been a trying venture. It's difficult starting out on your own with established competition. I am pleased you continue to patronize us. By the way, I hope you have thought to review your electronic mail. I forwarded you a notice concerning an outstanding balance you have with Mark. Thank you for your partial payment, and I presume... I am Count Ronald Swan, and I've settled on the Colt M4A1. While not a 7.62 battle rifle, we couldn't afford such weapons yet, and we hadn't encountered body armor we couldn't overcome with 5.56 armor-piercing rounds. Or really, any body armor. The M4A1 was designed for U.S. Special Forces and SOCOM. It would be an intermediate and reliable rifle for our team in the meanwhile. The Final Order. Decisions had to be made. Who got the rifles? Who got the hand-me-downs as a result? Danny, as a pistol dual-wielding specialist, was out of the running. I wanted his special skills to provide close defense and suppression for anyone who snuck up on us. In particular, I wanted him to eventually have Glocks or auto mags. I myself would obviously receive one of the rifles. Armed with grenades and brake lights, this left me in an excellent position to lead the team from the front. Dr. Q is a top-tier marksman in this group, which isn't saying much, but his agility is near superhuman. MD is also quite a good shooter, and we would swap out his carbine for a rifle. The equipment would continue to trickle down to the rest of the team. That left us in an excellent position. Counterattack defeated. We were making just enough money to repay our mercenaries' hiring fees. The next step would be to report back to Miguel Cordona on our success in getting him food and supplies from Father Walker. Time to take out the trash! We encountered the enemy immediately upon entry to the sector. This would be the first test of the M4A1. Yes? And the team was feeling a bit loose. With superior range and yes. firepower, we could afford to take risks we weren't able to before, moving fast and far. Oh. The first shot is an absolute success at ranges yes. we couldn't previously dream of. Unfortunately, not enough to kill the enemy, but he was now suppressed and shot. The team is rapidly spreading out to get cover and responding to any counterattack. now that our position was known. You have my attention. The enemy flees, bleeding. You have my attention. The squad yes. enters a security position, yes. although we critically lack cover Jesus or concealment. H. It is cocky Ready. and arrogant, but I am confident in our new weapon systems. I'm in a bad position for that shot. Spotting another enemy, we rapidly swing wide at speed. This time, we have cover. Hey. Danny gets a snap counterattack, a role I hope he continues to fulfill into the future. Now is the time to talk about shock, a hidden mechanic. Characters who are attacked, regardless of damage, suffer morale loss. Additionally, if they are hit, they suffer a hidden loss of action points, to the point where a high armor, high cover character may simply be unable to act 
after being hit by many small, non-penetrating attacks. I attempt a grenade throw. It does not go well. Yes? Sure! You have my attention. Dr. Q and Ira threaten flanking attacks on a now exposed target. Fire and maneuver. You got my ear! Roger! You got my ear! You have my attention. <sighs> the good doctor re-engages an enemy at ranges that were previously impossible to achieve. However, a ear. more damaging engagement would be needed to end the threat. The armor-piercing ammunition may have a Ready. detrimental effect on our lethality, even in higher caliber. Yes. Yes. You have my attention. You got my ear! <sighs> Flippin' A! You got my ear! The final enemy refused to flee the battlefield, and if we left first, it would reduce our morale and be considered a loss by our allies. An unacceptable outcome strategically. Jesus K. Finally, yes. the last enemy was tracked to a map border where direct engagement was impossible due to game mechanics. Unfortunately for him, I had learned a few tricks in my day. By throwing a grenade on the roof layer, it dropped next to the hapless guard. We eliminated all of Deidreana's men in this area. You are well? Good. The people of Omerta have you to thank for their food and supplies. It is through your hard work and the generosity of Father Walker that we enjoy the basics of life once again. Perhaps now I am in a position to offer the services of Dimitri. He is a good man. Are you sure this is wise, Miguel? Yes. As the countryside becomes safe, we too shall join Carlos. We must be one force united. It be the path to victory. Dimitri will serve you well. His skill throwing a knife will save you many an unwanted battle. Yes? You have impressed Miguel. He speaks highly of you. Me? I am guard. It is what I do best. I would like this. I can learn much. Miguel adds another barely capable soldier with passable wisdom to the team. And more importantly, Dimitri treats our team like family, because he doesn't ask to be paid. Joining us with a hand cannon, we regroup at the airfield. It was time to search the swamps for our missing helicopter pilot. 